So we investigated the major sanctuary and uh, used the Ouija board. And uh, well, what do you take out of it? Okay. We used the Ouija board before, and we ended up having just a long time period where planchette, which we're using a shot glass in place of, because people online who have claimed that they get results with the Ouija board and they made a video on it, and there's, diff there's, a, there's a lot of videos on YouTube we can go to where someone's using a Ouija board, and it seems like it's working for them, but they say that a shot glass works. And then uh, making your own Ouija board, something about it being like, makes it more personal, therefore it's a little bit more connected to you in some way. We're going off of that. And they were saying like, it's, it's you're more likely to get a result from it rather than getting what you can get at Toys R Us. Not saying Toys R Us stuff is completely wrong, because like, you know, it's not stuff that we can really be conclusive about. But, um, We've used the Ouija board before, and we have like long time periods of no nothing happening on the board. So, my ske my skeptic my uh, skepticism was every time there was a failed attempt with the Ouija board, my skepticism was just rising every time we bring out a Ouija board. Like, I was like doubts coming up, but I was doing more research on it, and uh, that's when I was that's why I was talking a lot about. A vibe that has to be found if you're overly skeptic about it they say it ruins your odds so I had to try not yeah. <laughs> approaching things with skepticism and then I had to try and find whatever mental trick I needed to uh, be nervous about being in the dark because it usually being in the dark doesn't bother me and so I we heard something scratching at a tree, and I figured, like, all right, well, this is helping. Although I'm pretty sure it's just some rodent. But I'll try to use it, and trying to get myself a little bit more creeped out, because supposedly, like, those are the types of emotions you should be feeling. Well, I got pretty much as close as I thought I was going to get. So I was like, all right, let's just start this. And I'm just going to, like, fast forward a little bit, go through the whole video again. But, um... When the shot glass finally started to move, uh, you already mentioned that at first we were thinking, like, kind of like pointing fingers at each other. Maybe it was you. But, um, beyond that, like, a theory I've got on it, and this is not a unique theory, it's, uh, maybe it's because of the amount of time you spend with your fingers touching the glass, and maybe we're both slightly shivering enough or getting shaky because of just you know holding your arms up like this long enough you'll eventually get shaky and maybe we we're both tapping the glass lightly <coughs> it. it's a possibility yeah and then we were slowly getting it to move just because of accidental tapping yeah so I was, I'm thinking about that right now but the only thing that uh, I'm not saying that wasn't it that could be it but it was odd that it went to the yes and no's yeah. And stopped on the yes and no's. It, it seemed like the tapping, right? If you went just to like it, the letter R, yeah. I would just dismiss it. <laughs> like, yeah, oh, that's that's useless information for us. See, for like, for example, the the, the tapping, I felt I feel kind of like that is definitely a possibility. But the strange thing about it is that it was a constant movement. Yeah. You know, going to the no, then back to the yes, you know, and it was just a bit odd as far as like, you know, because usually if you're kind of tapping, you know, the, the, the glass, the, the pressure, or the shot glass, it will, it would have, it would have consistently stop, move, stop, move, stop, move. Yeah, but and, it, I, and I think its direction would have been more random. Yeah. This was going like straight for answers. It was a straight line. And so I think, um, and that's why at the time we were thinking like, you were wondering if it was me and I was wondering if it was you. Yeah. And, and of course playing with a Ouija board 
that's going to be the number one thing that you're going to think of. Is it you? Or is it me? You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's going to be natural for, you know, either one of us or anybody who's playing with the weak cord to think this, the other person. But, just kind of, kind of throw in a little bit as far as if it was, why was it more straighter? You know, you, you would have figured if it, if it was just tapping or if it was just us. You know, especially with the, the amount of light that we did have there, it wasn't enough to really kind of see a lot of the lettering or really anything mm -hmm. on the board. And it just seemed like it knew where it was going. I am paranormal investigating. This is Will from the IF here with TK. We're going to be messing with this uh, makeshift Ouija board. We have a K2 meter. We have the audio recorder. We have the EMF meter. We have some silver right over here. And we have a candle lit, so we're just uh, trying to get our any tension or anything. Just give it a moment. Um, I don't recommend people messing with you with a Ouija board, uh, but if you do have some kind of courageous bone in your body, go for it. But I don't recommend it. Um, but, all in all, I, hopefully we get something out of this. The last time we messed with the Ouija board was back in Portland, uh, at the Portland Cemetery. And we didn't catch anything on it. But we do have the video on YouTube, so if you guys watch it, and maybe you guys hear something or see something that we missed, by all means, leave us a comment. Let us know. Uh, We've been doing paranormal investigations for years, and, you know, we, we enjoy doing this, we, we, we have different perspectives on why we're interested in the paranormal, but with those different perspectives, it helps us, you know, find different solutions and different ways to investigate, collect our evidence. You know, and just, just enjoy, enjoy the moments. Instead of on top, fingers on the sides. Oh. Okay, make this touch every part of the board. It's everywhere that it's supposed to go to uh, communicate. Okay. So we're going to be making circles.
we'll just pretty much just do circles. sounds B. Okay. So we're going to start talking despite whatever sounds we hear around us. Okay. Got it. Boom. Hello. My name is TK. This is my friend, Will. Is there anyone else here? Is there anyone else here besides me and Will? We are inviting anyone, anywhere, to communicate with us. Would you like to talk to us? have a name. Is this, is this a place that you stay? We don't feel like we're alone here. Is that you? Do you have a name?
join us at the table. Have you ever heard of Zozo? Zozo good? Is Zozo Is Zozo bad? Are you Zozo? Are you with us? Is it okay if we talk to you? Is your name Zozo?
So you are someone else? police officer left I was just telling Will like if, if you weren't moving it and then he kind of cut me off he was like dude I was not moving it yeah. and I was trying to tell him like we, we started off in the middle of the board and when it went to yes it pulled away from me and then I tried to follow it See, in the strange... I, I felt a tug that's yeah. why I, like, I had to follow it <laughs> the strange thing for me was that <laughs> if you look on the, on the camera on the video I barely even was feeling the glass. There were parts in there I believe that I didn't even touch the glass. And yet it was pushing towards my fingers. And then it was just, it was insane. I, I couldn't believe it. But. Right now we're going to do what we say. It. I'm not bringing it that deep, no. because it's it's flat. Yeah, and it's above the roof, so, so uh, if it rains, it's, you know, shouldn't be extremely wet or anything like that. But for me, it's more like a personal theory. Yeah. That, uh, like one, I'm already kind of like surprised, and I guess we have some stuff to talk about. We never had any luck with Ouija boards before. Yeah. And this so, is like the first, first time, bro. Oh so we're going to talk about like what it felt like. Because I know like for me, I actually got, it felt like muscle soreness. And I think that was just because my hands were up a lot. I got shaky. My, the only thing that was killing me was the fucking, my legs. My Your legs? Because the way my legs were inside the bench. The back end on my calves. Yeah. And then the front end right here. I was like, I was looking towards the right, and I was like, oh no, oh no. Yeah. But thankfully, thankfully it was an officer. You know, and he he thought we were kind of uh. We thought we were kind of silly, but he was cool about it. He, you know. Thankfully, he was cool about it. I mean, we were being honest with him. Yeah. And I think that's what made us silly. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> I would totally think we're silly. Okay. <coughs> this might be all the camouflage I need. Oh, I have, Out. The, I have the, the necklace, bro. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah. I saw you throw in your pocket. Yeah. I was grabbing other stuff. Right. That was intense. Oh okay. My so God. we got a little bit to talk about as far as like how we felt. Because like, it's not specifically an accusation. It's just that if anything moves, I have to ask questions, so. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you like this, man. So we're gonna talk about it. <laughs> yeah. And then we're also gonna analyze the video footage and listen to the audio, to see if we can catch anything. Um, at the very beginning, when I was explaining the rules and we didn't start yet, I was yeah. smoking. 
for a little bit while I was holding the camera. So if you see uh, anything apparition-ish, mm -hmm. apparition-ish, yeah. when Will's face is on screen, it's probably smoke coming smoke. from me. Yeah. And him, we were both smoking. Cigarettes, by the way. Yes. <laughs> Using the hoodie. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I don't know, like, yeah, that was just by coincidence. Mm -hmm. Um, but us both wearing the hoodie, I wonder if there's something about, like, just the shape of hoodies. Oh, just like, uh... Like, yeah, it's, it's not just, like, a vibe and comparing to things I've seen on TV, but I'm also, I was thinking about, um... The way hoodies seem to cone around your face. Mm -hmm. And then we had the candle lit, so it's like... I was wondering, because if uh, anyone that believes like, anything along the lines of, uh, like with the Ouija board thing, it's supposed to attract spirits yeah. and communication, right? Yeah. A hoodie making kind of like a cone thing towards your face. Yeah. I'm wondering if that helps. I think Get so it? too, yeah. And it was just like... It was just coincidence because I usually don't use my hoodie, like put it up, mm -hmm. unless it's really cold. And then I don't think I ever remember you using the hoodie either, unless it was really cold. No, I. Uh... So this was the first time like we were both wearing hoodies, and then we had the whole setup, so it was like very cliche. I thought. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is. Uh, I'll go with it. <laughs> no, that's understandable. Um, I put on the hoodie thinking that you know, it's not as cold. Outside, I mean, it's cold enough to wear a jacket, but it's not really cold enough to put on a hoodie. I just thought it could help me kind of uh, block out some of the stuff. You know, like if there was going to be some noises. Unfortunately, it didn't. That way, I could keep my mindset on uh, on the board. <laughs> 